This is a great honor. And um, most importantly, it's really a great honor for all the trainees who've worked with me and my colleagues. And um, I'm so proud to be here at UCSF and to have this recognition go to the University of California and to in, in, particularly to our campus. Yeah, it's quite a thing to be woken up at 2 a.m. Uh, it's often difficult for the Nobel Committee to find you. And so they got me through some circuitous route. So I was sort of woken up not by the committee, but by a relative who said they were trying to get a hold of me. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> so that was interesting. And then, um, you know, things evolved from there. I knew within about 15 minutes, life was going to get pretty busy. So it's been a busy morning. I had my iPhone on mute at night so I can sleep as I do every night. And so I missed a bunch of phone calls from Stockholm at 2 a.m. Pacific time in the United States. Um, they somehow got a hold of my 94-year-old father who lives in Los Angeles. And um, I guess even if you have um, do not disturb, people in your favorites can call you and wake you up. And so my dad actually was able to call me um, and, and let me know, which ended up being a very special moment. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.